How's it going, guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another My Debater tip. And uh, this is about how to use keyframes. Now, most of you watching my channel probably already know about all this, uh, especially those of you who are submitting to the compilation and whatnot. But I've actually gotten asked this uh, quite a few times, so I figured maybe I should do a video on it and uh, have it kind of done once and for all. So I've gotten quite a few comments from people who are having an issue with making an animation time up the way they want to. And one of the most common scenarios that I hear is, let's say they want Steve to raise his arm. So they go like, okay, what I want to happen here, they just go ahead and like, let's just say we place some keyframes here. We're just going to go ahead and make Steve have a keyframe for this default position here. We're just going to go ahead and double click on all those parameters and have him keyframe for all those positions. So they go, okay, well, at 40 frames here, we're just gonna go to frame 40, zooming in and out on my timeline with my mouse wheel, by the way, such as this, and then moving around and things like that. All right, so they go to frame 40 and they're like, all right, at this point, this is where I want Steve to raise his right arm. So they put a keyframe there, or let's go ahead and delete that by highlighting it and hitting delete, or they just click on his arm here, if I can do it properly and not be a total noob. And they'll do like this and they'll be like, awesome. Like that, give him a bend and everything. So right here is where I want Steve's arm to come up, right? So what they do is they'll scroll back to the beginning and they go, well, wait a minute, he's moving his arm at the start of it. I want him to start at 40 or whatever, right? So that's kind of a basic rundown of what might happen. I don't know exactly what in all the scenarios are for everyone who's encountered this issue. But basically the solution to this is you have to understand how keyframes work. So by default, if I click on this keyframe here, you'll see this panel comes out and we go to keyframe and you'll see the transition is set to linear. And what that means is the movement between keyframes is going to take place linearly. And as you can see, it's just a straight line of movement uh, as we go from one position to the next. So there's two ways of making it so that Steve raises his hand or his arm at a certain point. One is by using transitions. So I can click on this keyframe here and I'm gonna change this transition to instant. And then what will happen is this. Boop, and his arm just pops up there because the uh, transition is set to have that motion go from like zero to 60 in zero point nothing seconds. So uh, that's one way you can do that. You can use that for moving the camera and things like that. But one of the ways that I typically animate something like this, we're gonna go ahead and change this back to linear. And let's just say I want his arm to move, like I want it up at 40, all right? But I don't want it to move until like, let's say uh, 30 here. So since I've already animated this, what I can do is actually double click on this keyframe and I can hit Control C on my keyboard. Alternatively, I can come down here and hit these buttons, which is copy selected keyframe. I can click on that and then I'll move my cursor up to frame 30 here. And then I can hit Control V on my keyboard or I can come down here and click on this button, I believe, which is paste copied keyframes. And as you can see, it pastes that position because this keyframe holds the original position. And so when I pasted this one, it's that same position again. So what we'll get is this motion and it'll suddenly come up right then where we want it to. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can do that with the instant transition uh, for certain applications, but generally it'll be something like this where you just have the positions marked with your keyframes and then you just have them go from one pose to the next. So that's one thing to remember when you're using keyframes, each keyframe is basically holding the position of whatever pose that you're trying to go to. So if I want him to move from this position to this one, then it's gonna happen between these two keyframes. Uh, as far as these transitions go, if you haven't seen already, I have a tutorial that explains most of these and like how you can use them and uh, how they can work for you and your animation. So I highly recommend you check that out. But for the basics here, that's pretty much how keyframes are gonna work for you in your animations. So that's gonna be it for this quick tip, guys. I hope it was helpful to some of you who may be having that problem or anyone who may have been uh, linked to this video who's having that problem or whatever the case may be. Hope it was helpful, I hope you learned something. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment and subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see more tips and tutorials and things like that, share it with your friends and your family and maybe even your pets. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.